Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the cabin build series. If you guys are just tuning in, we've been building a cabin up here in the main woods since last fall. I built a playlist that shows all the videos in chronological order up until where we are today. We're building this camp to hopefully spend more time fishing and recreating around the lake that I grew up on as a kid and to just spend more time as a family in the woods. We spent all winter and the spring really trying to get as much as we could done inside of the cabin. We wired, insulated, and tongue and grooved just about everything inside of the camp. Now that it's summer, it's time to start working on our screen porch. We're building a really nice size screen porch on the front of this cabin. It's a 24 by 10 foot porch, completely screened in to keep us out of the bugs, and just have a nice place to sit and relax. This ground has a lot of rock in it, a lot of till, it's hard going. We're going to do the best we can do to get these piers in and start building this porch and put a roof over it. Try this rig again? Yeah. yeah. What a day. I couldn't even film the last part of what we did today. It was just so hot that uh, the camera wouldn't even run. So it's like four o'clock now. We just finished and I painted the Advantech. You guys let me know if that was a good idea or a bad idea. And I know Advantech is supposed to be like weather resistant, although, you know, probably has somewhat of a shelf life of how long it's good to be out in the weather. This is gonna be a screened in porch with a roof over it. So it shouldn't get a lot of water. We might get some through the screen, but I wanted to maybe help seal it up even more. So I put deck and porch enamel over it and sealed all the end grains and 
I'll probably tape all the seams. Um, so for now, we can kind of use that as the floor. I'll probably put like a vinyl click flooring in there, which will kind of seal it up even better, make it waterproof. So yeah, that's what we did today. We got all this done. We built the whole deck and framed it, put the plywood on and a coat of paint. So two plates on top, one to start with, one afterwards. Our other plate is actually going to go down underneath there. Making progress, but it's slow. some leftover beam pieces from what we used inside the camp. Figured to toss a couple out. Gonna interfere with the cornhole though. Another clip over there. That top one way up there, you're gonna have to cut it. Yeah, got her done. Put some ice and water up against here. I don't know, we're not roofers, but that's what we did. So, we're all good. All right guys, well, a little bit of a spoiler alert. We got some siding going on. My dad really killed it. I helped him a little bit with some of the soffit and he bent all the all the coil stock to go around there to hold that. So the porch is almost done. Show you guys here. These beams here were the same beams that we put in the camp. I had a few left over and I just uh, sealed them and cut them in half and stuck them up here. So today we're gonna be working on Sa. Today we're going to be working on putting the screen on here and then throwing our screen door on and the porch is done. We're getting a roof put on tomorrow 
So uh, we'll finish the inside of the screen porch probably next year. Probably finish it off and make a nice area in there, but looking pretty good right now. How do you like the siding? do it which I don't but my dad does I know how to do it now but it looks really good with the black windows and stuff and the middle roof we did the whole back here a couple hours today we finished that top part next week but yeah that whole side's done flying I'm sure some of you guys are gonna ask what color siding this is it's uh, made by Royal it's the estate uh, line and it's called shamrock so it actually it's weird because we wanted kind of like an olive green color and maybe it looks kind of olive green in the on the camera here but i thought it was going to be more green and from a distance it looks almost like darker gray so it actually looks nothing like what we thought really but i actually really like it a lot so that's just what happens when you pick out a siding from a color swatch or just a little sample piece. And when you see natural light hitting it and stuff, it just changes the color of it. But I really like it. Tell me what you guys think about it. Done deal. The outside is officially done. All right, check it out guys. It's all sided. You guys like the color? Hard to see, I'll show you guys a better a better video of it later when the sun comes up today we got to put this door in and we got to put the screen around the outside and the inside of the porch we're just going to leave it like this for now and uh, probably do that next summer or something i'm going to put a floor in here and probably kind of finish off these walls the ceiling a little bit in the next video i'm going to be building a hearth for our stove to sit on and kind of like a little backdrop for it. Um, it's going to be really cool looking. It's pretty small, but like a small area, but I'm going to do it all myself, some masonry stuff. And a lot of you guys have asked what I'm going to be using for a heat source in this cabin. And I'll show you it right here. We're going to do a few videos on it, like in depth, but I'll show you it right here. This is what we're using. It's a propane gas stove. It's made by Hearthstone. And this is the Bristol model kind of hard to see but it's a green enamel finish it's honestly beautiful um, they're made right in Vermont so fairly local and I really I saw this in a showroom at a local uh, stove shop I wanted it so that's what we got um, and I'll go in more into depth with this thing once we get it um, set up and get the hearth built and stuff but I basically have it sitting here right now I'm gonna make a template out of this old paneling for this to sit on because I'm gonna have a big piece of stone cut uh, for this to sit on and then I'm gonna stone the back of this wall and some over here with uh, river, river rounds um, and then we can put the stove back on pi pipe it out plumb it up and get the thing working and it should heat this place really well it's got a blower built into the back so it should push the heat right out over into here 
underneath into our kitchen and hopefully you know into these rooms I'm not sure we, we may need to put a baseboard or two in here or in here but um i think it might it might keep this place pretty toasty it's, it's supposed to heat a pretty good area and this isn't a very big space so super pumped to be able to get that that is a beautiful stove and uh stay tuned for the next video because i'm going to be building this hearth by myself and i'm not a mason i have no experience but we're going to run it and we're going to do it it's going to look sick so stay tuned Gotta love that screen door slam. The outside of the cabin is officially done. Looks different than I thought it was gonna in my mind, only because I pictured it with different siding, but this is what we went with. I think I talked about it earlier. I was planning on getting cedar shake looking vinyl siding, <clears throat> way too expensive. So I went with just like a basic vinyl in this uh, olive green color. And it looks sick. It looks really good. For the most part, it's done. There's a couple little things like we got to put some trim pieces over this, over all these posts to hold the screen. And then I got to put a door handle on here. And inside the door, we got to put this kind of trim inside of here too. Uh, but other than that, it's all done. Thank you guys for watching this episode. It's been all summer to make this episode. And to be honest, I haven't really filmed as much as I should have, but you can see we've been really busy. I've barely fished at all this year. I apologize about not getting some fishing videos out. Next step is to build that hearth for the uh, hearthstone stove that we got. And that's gonna be really cool. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate it a bunch. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below, what do you think? of the cabin how it looks and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.